morning. Good morning, guys. We are at the Atlanta airport getting ready for our flight. We had to get up super early this morning. I didn't sleep that well. So. Then, yeah, yeah, we didn't get, get in until a little bit late. I at 2.10 in the morning and didn't remember that it went off. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't don't even recall the alarm going off. She I told me this morning. I'm like, what? Huh? <laughs> I was like, God, I can't believe it's five o'clock already. No, it wasn't. <laughs> so anyway, we have a 8:40 flight this morning to Calgary, and then connecting on to Vancouver, where tomorrow. Tomorrow, Tomorrow we are boarding uh, Holland America's New Amsterdam for our Alaska cruise. So we've got uh, the afternoon that we're going to be spending in Vancouver after we get these flights out of the way. I'll tell you, the eyes, the, the small eyes right now, it's going to be like that all week. Because <laughs> it's going to be... Yeah, because we got a time change too, and we got to get used to that. Jet lag, who knows? Yep. And a busy, busy cruising schedule. So, here we go. Next stop, Canada. All right, we hey. have made it to Vancouver. Hi, guys. Ooh, long day of travel. Yeah. I mean, we started at 6 o'clock this morning, our time. It is now almost 7 o'clock, our time here in Vancouver. But we're in our hotel room. Uh, we've got our bags. Now we gotta find some place to go to dinner. I think we're, we well, first of all, we are at the Pinnacle Harbor Front. Is that right? Pinnacle Hotel Harbor Front, yes. Pinnacle Hotel Harbor Front. Uh, it's just one you found online, right? Yep, what Looks a nice like a place. I didn't know if the travel agent gave us that information because she did give us a, a list of like three or four places that they their customers have stayed before but everything was booked up so i can't remember if that was off their list or if i just okay. kind of found it i was looking for hotels that were close to the pier yeah for tomorrow so port of vancouver yeah kind of need to be a little bit close don't yeah. really want to have to pay for another cab yeah that was 47 dollars that was a long cab ride from the airport i didn't realize yeah. it was so far but yeah least a half an hour. We were told we could take the train almost directly here, but uh, we thought, oh, we'll just have them drop us right off so we don't have to walk five blocks with our luggage, but it was still tough. Yeah, we walked into the room, my jaw like hit my feet. This is a really nice place with a really amazing view, and I'm very excited uh, about staying here. Yeah, tell you what, let's show you around what uh, Pinnacle Harbor Front Hotel has to offer in their rooms the lobby, and everything else. All right. Here we go. Tonight, which was recommended by uh, Bella Michael. And we walked in and this place is really cool. I mean, I'm not looking around, but uh, Corey will show you some of that, some of those things. There's like this round bar in the middle. There's a, there's a huge wine rack behind Corey's head. And I'm like, oh my God, I feel underdressed. Like, like we are eating in style, I think. <laughs> uh, really neat place. And uh, I'm very excited for it. Back to uh, what we ordered or we're about to order. Yeah. Nope, he just walked by. So I'm going to get the clam chowder, supposed to be a house specialty. And halibut is in season and they actually catch it locally, like right off the line. So we're going to get that, or I'm going to get that as well. All right, I'm going to get the uh, clam chowder as well since it's a house specialty. I'm going to have their uh, halibut fish and chips, another house specialty. And 
since we're having fun and just here doing it anyway, I'm getting a local IPA uh, and I think we're going to get the calamari as well. So that's a house specialty. So we'll see. I got a dirty martini. Look at that. So there's that local IPA, Super Flux. Uh, Super Flux hoppiness. Okay, so the concierge called and made us a reservation from the hotel at, at Coast, and they're going to do a little something special and give us, hopefully, I say this right, a moosh boosh. <laughs> yes, and a moosh boosh. I don't know if I said it right. Hopefully, I did, but I was like, oh my God, did we order too much food? And he goes, no. It just means a little mouth pleasure. I was like, I'll take some of that, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cheers. Cheers. Yeah, so that is, that is a wild mushroom arancini. It's like risotto and cheese and deep fried. and yeah. It's like a great Italian dish, but they're not an Italian restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the wild mushroom arancini had uh, a risotto in there, so an, an Italian creamy rice type thing. Uh, it was really good, very tasty. But they've already brought our calamari, so here that is. This is a very different presentation of calamari than anything I've ever seen before. So take a look at this. So the, the amuse-bouche, I would give it an eight out of 10. But let me tell you what, I took a sip of wine after that and it paired awesome and that made it 10 out of 10 with the taste. Wow. Really yeah. good. And then I got a Malbec, just a generic Argentinian Malbec. So calamari is cooked to perfection and it's really good. However, it's got cilantro on it. So it's not excellent for me, but I can appreciate the way it's cooked and what's on it. And it does taste good for the most part, for, for me. I'm sure Corey loves it though. <laughs> for me, I don't have a problem with cilantro. And I thought it was cooked, absolutely cooked to perfection. Uh, I've had calamari before that was chewy and, you know, rubbery. Not this stuff. It was very, very tender. Uh, very different presentation from most calamari with the, uh, the shaved onions and the green onions and other things that are uh, in the saute with it. That was uh, very different and very good. I liked it. I, you know, I am having the best time. Everything is has has been amazing so far. But we haven't even really started. So I was telling Corey, if this is gonna be an indication of how things are gonna go, like this is gonna be the best vacation I've ever had. And so, so far, I mean, I've just been happy. I mean, I'm on vacation. Why am I gonna be upset? You know, I'd go in, hey, good morning, you know, have a nice day and all that stuff. And like, it, everybody's been wonderful. Everybody's really been taking care of us so far. And I'm just, I'm so happy and I'm enjoying myself so much that I'm really looking forward to, to stay this way for, for a, a number of days. And you know, I'll keep Corey around for some company. You know, he's not too bad, you know. He, he likes to have fun too. <laughs> so my day has been fairly unique as well. Um, I've never had that high of a opinion of Atlanta, but between the folks that we met at our hotel last night, um, which was the Hilton Garden by the airport, uh, the folks that we met in the airport with WestJet, everybody has just been phenomenally nice. And of course, that kind of, uh, I have to attribute some of that to Lori over here who always greets people really nice. How are you doing today? Hope you have a great day, all that kind of stuff. It goes incredibly far to encourage people to treat you the way that they would want to be treated, so. He's lucky to have me as his wife. Yeah, <laughs> I'm lucky to have her as my wife. That looks very different from what I'm used to in a New England clam chowder. 
It's well, it's because it's Canadian clam chowder, honey. So they have. Uh, yeah, but the list is on the menu is New England clam chowder. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to be smarty pants. Uh, so they have vegetables in it, and I know that they have bacon in it, and it's and it's not white. But hey, you know what? I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. All right, well let's try it. Ready? I don't know what this is, so we're gonna eat around that for now, just to try to. <laughs> it's a big carrot. <laughs> I will say it's not thick like like you would think that it would be like what is that like um, with like the milk and the cream and like really thick it's not it's, it's on the thicker side but it's not like heavy like that I don't know it's actually pretty good it's almost like and it's probably not but it's almost like a like a chicken stock almost that's good see all that clam in there every bite yeah, in my opinion, it's not your typical New England clam chowder. It's fairly different from what I'm used to, even at restaurants that make their own. Uh, of course, a lot of times it's a little bit potato heavy, and this chowder, I don't think it has any potatoes in it. At least yeah. I haven't gotten any potatoes in it, so very different, but uh, still good. 10 out of 10. I like it. Laura gives the diction out of 10. There you go. That is a really nice piece of halibut. And it's got like fresh dill on top. Really, really nice with a cream sauce and has like puree, asparagus puree. Very good. Very good. All right, so I gotta be honest, most of the fish and chips that I've had in my life have been frozen or long john silvers or something like that they're good uh, they'll fit the bill but this this is like next level very fresh tasting the uh whatever the batter is that they used on it is very good not overpowering the coleslaw though is a little bit lacking uh, just didn't have a whole lot of flavor. But otherwise, excellent. Love my malt vinegar. And so to pair with that, I have switched over to the amber ale that they've got on draft. I think that'll pair better with that malt vinegar and the, uh, uh, the rest of the flavors on this plate. So just a little pairing tip for you guys. So I'm gonna rate everything out of 10. So the clam chowder, 10 out of 10. My dinner, uh, well, let me say eight and a half to nine out of 10. It was very, very good. And uh, what else do you have? The calamari, I think I said eight out of 10. This place is really great. So if you're ever in Vancouver, check out the coast. It's awesome. And Blaine, he was our server tonight. Very good as well. All right, so I would say the calamari was probably, I'd give it a nine out of 10. It was really good. Um, not necessarily the best I'd ever had, but it was really good. Uh, the clam chowder, I'd probably go a seven out of 10 on that because it wasn't the clam chowder I would expect. Uh, Lori had a lot more stuff in hers than I had in mine. That's kind of a, uh, a plating issue, but Still, there's the variability, you know, as a, as a restaurant business owner myself, that's one thing that you gotta look at. Um, the fish and chips. The fish part of the fish and chips was excellent. Um, great batter on the fish, very fresh, locally caught, in season halibut. And that's one of the things that they told us was that when halibut's in season, it's their most popular. When it's not in season, it's the... Sailfish? Uh, Sailfish or, or something like that. I, I forget what it was called now. But some of the kind of fish is their most popular. Um, that was excellent. Coleslaw was a little bit lacking in flavor. Um, the fries, their fries. What, what do you want from fries? One other thing, this amber, um, 
I don't know what it is, but my thoughts on it pairing with the fish, uh, with my fish and chips, was incorrect. Didn't pair well at all. Um, now my amber would have paired really well with this, with the fish and chips, but this just is kind of weak and watery. So, so it goes. Apparently, this banana coconut cake thing <laughs> has been on the menu for like 18 years, so it was highly recommended. So we figured we would give it a shot. Yep. And there it is, right there. Very nice looking. Now I gotta taste it. Okay, so maybe because we're filming, I'm not sure, but we've had uh, like the manager and I the general manager that guy. And the general manager have all come up to our table and he introduced himself. Um, we had Marat come up and he actually worked on Celebrity Cute Cruise Lines, actually opened up uh, Celebrity Beyond, which we're gonna be on in a few months. And uh, we had Franklin, who head of the concierge, the general manager. Uh, he's the one who he's our concierge program. Yeah, he's the head of the concierge program. So he's the one that our concierge called to refer us here and got the reservations. So um, very nice people. Uh, great restaurant. Highly remember. Yeah, I mean we're paying for this ourselves, so. If you ever come to Vancouver, here's a good big thumbs up for Coast uh, Restaurant on Arvinti Street or something like that here in downtown Vancouver. Not too far from the port. This thing is served warm. It's got some kind of cream sauce around it. And you can see that or not. It's to die for. I can see why it survived on the menu for 13 years or something. 18 years. Yeah. Very good, very good. So for the record, look how much space is over here and how much space is here. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> we did a number on it, didn't quite finish it off, but oh, it was delicious. That was good. Really, really good. Uh, like melt in your mouth, good. Okay. How much should we spend on this thing? <laughs> well, thank you. All right, so we're finished up at Coast uh, Restaurant here in downtown Vancouver. Uh, it was an excellent meal. Oh, phenomenal. Very really, good. Really was. It was very expensive. <laughs> yes, it. Yeah, it ended up being a lot more expensive than I expected it to be. Yeah, but, about $100 more than we expected. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. I mean, they, they've got an option on the menu where you can have the coast dinner, which is an appetizer, an entree, and, and a dessert right. for like $65 a person. Yes. And we looked at it and we're like, oh, we can order the stuff off the menu cheaper. He said, yeah, we can yeah. do it cheaper. But then we well, added calamari. Then we added, and then we added alcoholic we, we beverage. We figured that yeah. the calamari wouldn't be that bad. And then Lori got the uh, halibut special, which was $55. Did not expect Canadian. it to be that much money. And <laughs> then we got, she got a Malbec, which was $19, and I got well, three well, beers, which were $10 a piece. It was $13 on the yeah, menu, yeah, but yeah, that yeah. was for five ounces. They said, do you want five ounces or eight ounces? I was like, sure, even eight ounces. And then we got that dessert is. on top, so it ended up being a bit more expensive than we expected, but yeah, it was over $200 for both of us, so it was a $100 meal. <laughs> from what I looked up <laughs> earlier, $7 Canadian is about $5 US, so. Uh, it's a little bit less than what we actually spent, but... Yeah, it was good. And you know what? The experience was amazing. It was. And, and we had everybody in the restaurant, that's if right. was anybody, came up and talked to us. So that's right. Maybe so, because I had this camera in my hand, but... Maybe so just because we were special and, you know, yeah, that's what they do special. to all guests. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. But it was an that's amazing it. experience and I wouldn't take it back, even though, yeah. you know, we lose that's more than we sure. expected. So, that's, 10 out of 10. That's like almost an Alaska excursion there. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm not sure if you can see those or not, but we got like trolley wires going across the street. 
and there are no tracks on the street because there were buses that were connected to the trolley wire. Kind of cool. <laughs> Unfortunately, I missed the bus that was uh, set up with the trolley wire. And there's not another one coming, so I'm not going to wait on it. After an outstanding dinner like that, it's time to walk off some of those calories. Yes, that's down that's by right. the waterfront. <laughs> so we're gonna go down and see what we can see along the waterfront. See if we can spy out uh, the port entrance that we got to get to tomorrow, and determine whether it's within walking distance of our hotel with two bags apiece. So. And also, I would like to spy the airplane or the seaplane oh, uh, yeah. dock. I'd like to get closer to that. Yeah, yeah they got seaplane docks down there and they were taken off earlier. We saw them from our hotel balcony. Uh, so we're gonna see if we can get some taken off, maybe for sunset, sunset flight. Yes. So our hotel is over there, uh, kind of in between these two buildings, I believe, and further back on a couple of streets up. And back behind us here is Canada Place, which I believe is the port, so. Or at least that's yes. where uh, the princess ship was yep. leaving from. <laughs> it is, so I don't think it's too far of a walk. We're gonna give it a shot. Yeah, I think we'll give it a shot tomorrow. We just took a walk down the, I don't even know if you call it a pier, but down by the water, and we found where the cruise terminal sea is. Seawall, so. yeah. Yeah. So we decided that we're gonna walk it tomorrow morning, so it should be an adventure, but it's not that far. It yeah, is downhill so, most of the way, except yeah. for right there in front of us. Except that's for in front of us there, going up to the cruise terminal, but yeah. eh, it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, once you get up there, then it's downhill to the cruise yeah. terminal. <laughs> so, if you guys haven't done it already, make sure you hit the thumbs up on this video and absolutely make sure you subscribe. We're a growing channel and we're trying our best to put out great content for everyone. So, give us a thumbs up and like hit that subscribe see. button if you like what you see and like want to see more cruising content. Yeah, and it's free. It's free, so why not? If you don't like it, you can just unsubscribe, but you're not going to do that because you're going to love it. Yeah. You're going to love hanging out with us each week. Yes. Ooh, what a day. Ooh, hello, Beck. Man, been going for, since 6 o'clock in the morning. It's now... Almost 9. Uh, yeah, well, 9 locally, which would be midnight our time. And we're kind of wiped, yeah. but we're trying to stay up till 10 o'clock to uh, reset our internal clocks for this this trip. Uh, we got to get up in the morning and get on Holland America's new Amsterdam for our Alaska cruise. Yeah. Can't wait. So far, it has been fabulous. Yes. Um, no complaints about anything. Great time. Great food. Hotel is great. Great people. Yeah, everything. Hotel is awesome. Vancouver's been pretty cool too. Till next time, from peaks to tides. See you on the next ride. Bye guys.